time for a Nazca Mummy News Update. So get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, before I get started, I wanted to let you know about this contest uh, that the Twitter channel Tridactyls is doing. Uh, check it out. Uh, make a post. Oh, yeah. The, the idea is you're going to win a uh, free tridactyl head. You know, a reproduction of one of the Nazca mummy heads uh, that looks like that guy right there. Uh, if you want to win one of those, I think he has two to give away. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, tridactyls. Uh, to win one, make a post, meme, or video on X uh, about some part of uh, uh, Tridactyl's constant companion theory uh, that you think could be possible. Best post with the most engagement wins a life-size resin cast of a Tridactyl head for both themselves and Jack of Cosmic Road. Hey, <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so you get one and I get one for just letting you know about it. That is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, tag to win a road mystery. That's me. Uh, before I called it Cosmic Road for about a month or so, I called it uh, Mystery Mystery Road. Uh, so tag to win road mystery and tridactyls, uh, a constant companion theory, uh, tridactyls.com. You can read more about it there or you can go to his uh, Twitter page right here and I will link to that uh, in the description below. Okay, so good luck guys. Uh, post your memes and your, your, your post about tridactyls, constant companion theory, which you can read about on his page. All right, now getting to the news of the day. This is so cool. We have the first ever scientific paper on Maria. That's right. One of the human-sized uh, Nazca mummies. Uh, actually has real science behind the study of that being. It's amazing, guys. We are living in the age of disclosure. This is incredible. A scientific, an actual scientific paper about a non-human, guys. This is amazing. This is huge. Uh, objective, report the bioarchaeological case and perform the morpho and and whatever biometric characterization and dating of the antiquity of a tridactyl humanoid specimen found in Nazca, Peru. Results in discussion, etc. And it takes you all the way through it. Uh, there is a, supposedly a, an English and a, a Spanish version of it. Now you can see this is kind of mixed. That's in Spanish and this is in English. Um, but yeah, introduction. Uh, it takes you all the way through it. A theoretical framework, social archaeology, and social bioarchaeology. Well, I've never heard that word before, bioarchaeology, but that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and it goes all the way through the criteria, the body age dating technique, the case presentation, the head analysis. Uh, there's the, the scans you can see head and foot analysis, which is, of course, is very important in de determining whether or not these were uh, genuine tridactyl beings, or, you know, at least if Maria was a genuine tridactyl. Um, okay, let's just get to the, the conclusion, the, uh, the, the discussion. Um, the morpho morphological analysis of surface and imaging tomography concludes that specimen M01, that's Maria, is a desiccated humanoid body of biological architecture similar to human, but with many structural differences in morphological and anatomical singularities, in addition to showing signs of polioarthritis due to the multiple foci of anthro anthropath anthropathies, uh, anthropathies uh, in the spine and hands and feet. Superficial morphological and imaging analysis of the carpo -met metacarpal joints of the hands and torso. Anyway, yeah, the, the dating is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all very dry and sciencey, of course, uh, but the dating is uh, 2,000 years old. Um, and also, uh, it's very important that they uh, didn't find any uh, alterations of the hands. Uh, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no amputation or uh, alteration 
to create an artificial tridactyl being. Uh, it appears to be a genuine tridactyl being. Uh, Maria has three fingers and three hands. Uh, didn't have any hair. Uh, talks about having a larger cranial volume, a 30% larger than a human's cranial volume, and other distinct differences uh, to that of a human. Uh, again, it's all very dry and sciencey, but it, it that's that's how science is. We have an actual scientific paper uh, on a non-human. This is incredible, guys. This is amazing. Wow, what a day. What a day, guys. Meanwhile, Gonzalo Chavez says a new study on Maria's DNA results will soon be released by an independent team of geneticists from Canada, separate from the current research teams. Uh, and there's this uh, from Nazca Mummies on Twitter. Maria DNA analysis in Russia confirms she is female, if, if there was any doubt. Maria was female. We have teams from Canada. We have teams from Russia. We have the American, uh, you know, team led by Dr. John McDowell. Uh, we have, of course, the South American teams. Uh, you know, we've had a, a Mexican scientists and doctors look at this. We've had uh, scientists from Japan look at these specimens. Uh, it's just amazing the, the, the wealth and the breadth of science that is being brought to bear on these specimens. But this is just the beginning. Uh, we are in the early days of the investigations into these amazing specimens. I can't wait for the scientific paper about the little guys, including, hopefully, detailed examinations of the eggs, and also, of course, of Montserrat, who would have delivered a live birth. Also, I really want to know about Montserrat's uh, implant or her, her multiple implants. Of course, this one is the most striking, this third eye implant. Uh, but, you know, there's so many fascinating features about these mummies. And, uh, yeah, I've talked before about my theories on the implants. Um, I won't go into that too much here, except that I think that uh, it's fascinating that the beings that abduct humans... Uh, put implants in humans, and now we're saying implants in these trigactyl beings. They're not the same implants, but maybe they serve a similar purpose. Uh, to me, it it is a sign of some sort of culture or science um, uh, that uh, you know the beings are part of that, that they believe in or that they practice. Uh, is it a cultural artifact? Is it a cultural? Um, you know, practice that the beings that abduct people do. Uh, unclear. Is it, you know, what their science has led them to? Again, unclear. But this seems like a clear uh, link between the beings that abduct people and the tridactyls, as if they were part of some larger culture or the tridactyl beings learn something from those beings. Either way, fascinating stuff. And of course, this is Raphael, uh, the, um, uh, the, the fetus inside Montserrat. Don't forget the giants. We've got giants, y'all. Apparently, apparently there's giants, giant Nazca mummies. I'll believe it when I see it at this point. I have seen reproductions of uh, the heads. Uh, I've seen two or even three reproductions of the heads, but it's unclear if those are accurate or not. Uh, either way, we've got giant y'all, maybe if they ever show them to us. Don't forget what Gonzalo Chavez says. In Peru, the archaeology institute that's finding the bodies states that uh, he is being told by local indigenous tribes in the Andes that they are creatures that come from underground in the mountains. Uh, and many people say they are still coming and going from caves in the mountains. There could actually be living uh, descendants of these beings uh, still on Earth today. And that, you know, seems to be the case if that Siberian being uh, is indeed authentic. Uh, because the similarities between that and the little guys uh, is outstanding. It really is. And I think that might be authentic. And here's a video where a doctor that examined Maria is talking about her dentation. Check this out. Maria had a dentist.
there's teeth. And we, according uh, with the, the blue, the blue marks are the pieces that she has uh, lost. Uh, she, uh, in life, she has had uh, her whole 32 dental pieces. She has a very visible uh, losses in the whole dental uh, context. There's also something that catches our attention, and it's the loss at the level of the jaw the uh, posterior pieces and the other ones. Here we can also see something very marked. Firstly, we can see the marks of friction that is very uh, continuous. Anyway, it goes on. Uh, apparently, Maria has uh, several missing molars that look like they were removed deliberately. Uh, in other words, she had dental work done. Not only does she have technological implants, uh, but she had dental work done, implying that she had a dentist. Uh, that's, that's crazy, guys. We've got alien dentists, y'all. We've got alien dentists. Okay, let me know what you think about all this incredible Nazca Mummy information in the comments below. Then if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, links below. Don't forget to uh, go to Tridactyl's uh, Twitter page and see if you can win a Tridactyl head for yourself. Uh, lots of other videos on the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.